What's going on guys? We're gonna take a little look at Tesla. So Tesla right now is down two points on the overall session. We were trading a little bit higher in the pre-market, kind of pulled back that first uh, couple of hours that the market was open. And then we've been on a two and a half hour kind of dead cat bounce here off of this supply zone. Now, if you kind of see where we broke down, we broke down from the 50 EMA as well as the 100 EMA. And we kind of quickly came down almost into this range here, this demand zone, this yellow line, if you can see it across the screen here, is the 150 day simple moving average now if we just kind of go back to yesterday's price action right so if we look at this light gray box here kind of broke started to break out in the pre-market and then realistically right when the market opened we kind of exploded and came all the way up to the supply zone and then went sideways and then sold off so this is a classic break consolidate retest hold and bounce if you were looking for the long here you would have wanted to see some type of back test here either into the 50 ema or the 150 simple moving average for sure would have wanted to see this 50 sma hold here which it did and we did have some room to kind of give 113.92 is that 50 uh, SMA here we only came down to a price of around 114.83 so as we start to push higher here you know a lot of stocks not just Tesla they're kind of trapped in the middle of a range um, you know they don't really look the best to go long a lot of stocks don't really look the best to go short it's kind of like you know which way does it go right it's like the old saying one guy's looking one way the other guy's looking the other way what are you going to do, right? So if we kind of look at what we've got here, we've got a little bit of supply here. We need to take out this uh, 20 EMA or 20 SMA here on the one hour time frame as well as this 10. For me personally, I'd like to see Tesla close over 118.79. That would give me a little bit more glimmer of a hope that, you know, we could potentially push up to the top of the range here. Over 118.79 has about a dollar's worth of room into that middle Bollinger Band at 119.75. Anything over 119.75, in my technical analysis opinion, I think that we would come back to the top of the range. Price target for me would be 122.56. That's what I'm going to look to kind of play as of right now. What it looks like according to chart patterns and whatnot on the one hour time frame looks like a little bit of a bear flag. Okay, so we had a little bit of a sell off. We're getting a little bit of a dead cap bounce. Maybe we get rejected somewhere in this area, start to roll over. Now, if that's the case, if we see this bounce and we get rejected here and we start to roll over, I would assume that once we lose this demand zone here, that 116 area, as soon as we lose that again, we are probably uh, just uh, you know throwing stones away from coming back down, testing the day's lows, and at least trying to attempt to test this 50 SMA here. That price is 114.53. Here's what I would look at. If you're not currently in a bounce long on Tesla, I would just kind of wait. Okay, let's see what today does. Let's see where the market takes us. Do we get over 118, 119? If we can do that, then I'm bull bias going into tomorrow, which is the 11th. If we get rejected and we start to kind of just fade off for the rest of the session today on the 10th, then what I would be looking for is like a 114.53 loss tomorrow for some more downside. Price target, 110, 111. That's what I'm looking for. I got to be a little bit more patient. As much as I like to scalp and want to pick my spots here and there, the market's not really providing me personally those kind of opportunities based on my strategies. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more patient uh, as much and as hard as that is to do. It's what we got to do. With that kind of being taken into consideration and said, I hope you guys all had a safe and good trading day today. NASDAQ's not doing too bad. We are up about 52 uh, handles on the session. You know, we've got some stocks in the green. We've got some stocks pretty much flat. Amazon having a decent day today. Microsoft having an okay day today. Uh, AMD pretty much flat. Apple pretty much flat. The S&P 500 up about a point and a half. So, you know, not too bad. Um, it's just not providing those explosive moves, right? We're not getting, you know, the big runners, the all day movement. We're getting a little bit of a pop and then it consolidates. And we're getting a little bit of a drop and then it consolidates. Be patient, be smart, guys. Practice good risk management. Use technical analysis. Make sure you're not just taking a trade for the sake of taking a trade. As right now, as, as Tesla's pushing up, I'm currently in a long position, but let's say that if I was not in this bounce uh, position that I'm in, 
I'm not going to take a trade here just for the sake of taking a trade just because Tesla looks like it wants to go red to green. Okay, I've got to wait for confirmation. I need it to get over 118.81 before I can even think about it. I need it to close over the 20 SMA before I can even think about it. If not, I need it to lose this demand zone here, which it where it kind of bounced, uh, lost, bounced, and reclaimed, you know, that 116 spot. If Tesla starts to lose 116, I... Uh, We'll definitely jump into a short with a 114.53 price target and anything below 114 looking for that 110, 111. Hope this made sense. Hope you guys join the community. The Discord's down in the description box below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. I would love to see you guys uh, asking some questions in the comment section below. And uh, welcome to the community. So I will see you guys all later.